So the video that I want to actually make for today is um, just kind of a narration over um, the installation guide that I made. So I'm going to try and break this down as we go and hopefully this comes across as pretty straightforward. Granted, it did take me a few attempts of downloading it to get a clean video installation. And even still, uh, at the very end, there's a slip up where it's all in pink due to uh, a graphic bug that did fix itself when I rebooted. Uh, so this will get the game running on a Windows 10 computer. And here's the video. So we'll just kind of play follow along. But the biggest part we want to do here is go to speedrun.com slash STZ, go to guides on there, and that'll take you to this page where you hit how to get and install the game. When you click it, there's a mega upload file. You want to click that, and there's also other instructions. Be sure to keep a file open or a page open of this. That way you can go back and refer to it. Nonetheless, click your mega upload file. You'll get a file that looks like this popping up. It's about 1.88 gigabytes, um, so be mindful of that. Um, once you have it downloaded, I put it on my desktop. You have stubs the zombie file. Hit setup.exe. That one right there, it's an application. You'll get a pop-up that says allow, don't allow, just hit allow, that's what that black screen was, hit next. This is greatly sped up, but that's the file you need to be mindful of. Um, damn, I couldn't slow it down in time. What we want to do is just make sure you know where you install it. That's the, the gist of it. It's going to copy all these files out, and then what we're going to do after that is go into the crack folder. So we'll wait until this is done, but we need to go get some crack. <laughs> run into that folder in a moment here. This open AL, when it pops up, you're gonna click that and hit okay. That's gonna go ahead and confirm the installation for you. You get installation complete, hit okay again, and then hit finish. After that, open up the crack folder, which you'll see coming up in a moment, and you'll have stubs. Go ahead and hit or right click it, hit rename, capital C, lowercase o, capital D, S, P, enter. That'll make a file called codesp, copy that file. Or actually, sorry, go to properties, compatibility. Then hit run this program in compatibility mode. Click your drop down and click Windows 7. At that point, hit apply and then hit OK. Now you want to right click and copy your file. You can also control C, but I wanted to give a visual representation. Next, we're gonna go into our C drive, program files x86, Asper Media, comma, Inc. That is the directory that this defaults to, stubs the zombie, rebel without a pulse. And then in this file is where you want to paste. You'll get the continue, allow, don't allow prompt, so hit continue in there. You might have to give admin authorization. But then at that point, you can go ahead and click the game. My screen's gonna flash. Now, because I didn't uh, configure the widescreen display fix, it looks a little wonky, but this was also an impromptu setup just to show the game being able to be installed and loaded. The textures, as I was saying, are pink right now um, for the people, and that's because I did not reboot the game or reboot the computer after installation. So be mindful of that. You just wanna hit reboot after you get everything installed um, if you see this graphical bug, but the game runs through at that point. My laptop's a little sluggish, so you can see in the video it's a little choppy, but that gets the point across for how you wanna play the game. So we go ahead and hit save and quit, and we're done in there. Um, at that, that is really the extent of how you install and utilize the, uh, the Stubbs game file. Look into the description to see a, a further example of all the uh, links that we use. Um, I'll go ahead and also write up uh, everything I'd said in this so that way it makes it a little easier if you need a written guide. Uh, I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in.